On the last trading day, we detected an unusual trade on Apple stock options worth $215 million. And so in this video, we will analyze this unusual option activity to find out how this wealthy investor is now trading Apple stock. Are they bullish and buying or bearish and selling so that we can also trade in the same direction to make money while the rich are getting richer on Wall Street? Because as we all know, the rich have more access to information, sometimes leaked insider information to make better financial decisions. No wonder the rich get richer. So without further ado, let's dive into the data as usual. As we can see here on the options time and sales tape, yesterday, September 10th, these Four options were being traded at the same time, 12.23 at the 18 second mark. 11,065 contracts. For the September 20 options at the 2.20 strike calls, the October 18 options at the 195 strike puts, and the November 15 options at the 225 strike call and the 245 strike calls. So what does this mean? Because this type of data can get very confusing. Many other websites and scanners cannot decipher this data. But because we have a lot of experience doing this, we will go through all four of these options so that we can find out what this wealthy investor is doing. Are they bearish or bullish? So one of the first steps we need to figure out is which of these options are closing trades and which ones are opening trades. And so to do that, we need to look back at historical data. And that is what we always do when we analyze this type of data, because we cannot just simply look at the current data. We have to look at what was happening previously. And so you can see here, September 10th, on the day that this was being traded, we need to figure out what was the exact open interest previously that happened on the day that they traded these options. And so we can see that the open interest for these 220 strike calls, 65,000 contracts. Now, if they had closed out of these trades, we would have a decrease in 65,000. And so let's take a deeper look at this option for these September 20s. And so we can see here at the 220 strike calls, we now have 58,000 open interest, so it has decreased, meaning these options are closing trades. Now let's take a look at the October 18 options, the puts that they had traded at the 195 strike puts. We can see here, there was only 11,218 open interest. And so let's take a look at what has happened now the next day. October 18 options, the data has updated. And so you can see that there is now 24,000 open interest, meaning these were opening trades. And this makes a big difference because these put options actually increase the value of this trade substantially. And we'll go over that as soon as we go over the last two options to find out if those are opening trades. Now that we know that these October 18 options are opening trades, we can see that these November 15 options that happened at the 225 strike calls, we have 11,339 open interest. We also have an open interest of 45,000 for the 245 strike calls. So let's take a look at these two options to see if they've increased or decreased. November 15th, we can see here, these 225s have increased, 24,000 open interest now. And for the 245s, also increased, 54,000 now. And so now we know that these two options are also opening trades. You can see that we are in the same position. POS stands for position. Green means buy. Red means sell. Because based on our analysis, they were 
buying and selling these options over here, opening these trades. And don't forget the October 18 options that makes a big difference because they were selling these put options to open at the 195 strike puts. And so when we analyze their trade, you can see here that this trade, by the way, this trade here, over here, is our previous Apple trade that we shared on our channel. It's right over here, back on May 7th. And you can see it is profitable now because back then Apple was trading at about $181 per share. So if you missed out on our last Apple analysis, we'll put a link at the top here. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on these very profitable opportunities. Now you can see how much profit we've made on this previous trade so far on the profit loss graph. We can see here $1,169 of profit per trade and we had spent 513 per trade. And so if we calculate the profit percentage, 1,169 profit divided by the cost 513 times 100, is 227% profit so far. And so that is how we use these unusual options to make sure that we consistently beat the market by making a lot more than 100% because our risk to reward is always in our favor. We can always make more than what we could lose. Now, keep in mind the trade that we are discussing today on Apple is still higher risk in comparison to the trades that we share on our website. If you want access to better trade ideas, not like this one here, where you can make a lot more, then make sure to go to our website. We'll put a link at the top here where you can gain access to more of these unusual option trades because not all of these trades will be profitable. Even this one might be a loss. But as long as we diversify with higher quality stock picks based on this type of data analysis, then we can become more profitable in the long term. Now, for the current trade, what is going on with this trade? Well, you can see here on this graph, the X axis represents the share price of Apple. And on the Y axis represents the profit loss. Note the zero break even line here. And so as the share price goes up, this actually becomes more profitable, which means this wealthy investor is going long bullish on Apple by trading these options. If it goes down, it is a loss, but it is hedged. You can see that the blue line is very flat here so that it does not lose very much if it starts to drop down here because they sold the 195 strike puts over here. And by selling these puts, they are essentially saying they're willing to own 100 shares at this strike price, which means each contract required $19,500 of buying power. And since there was a total of about 11,065 contracts, we multiply that out and we get a total trade that required $215 million. And you see how important it is to find out whether or not these put options were opening trades or not. Because if we did not have these put options, this trade would actually have been less than $10 million, which actually decreases our probability of profit on these trades. But keep in mind, even though this is a $215 million trade, but because Apple is more than a trillion dollar market cap company, this is still a drop in the bucket. And that is why this is a lower chance of profit trade in comparison to the trades that we share on our website. And that is why we simply followed the trade, but we did not sell the put options because it takes a lot more buying power and we wanted to use position sizing to manage our risk. So we simply bought the 225 strike calls. As we mentioned earlier, same position here and we sold the 245 strike calls and so when we analyze this trade you can see here that this is a vertical call spread it only costs about 641 
dollars of debit each. And so you can see that if we did not take into account these put options, the total trade costs that we would have estimated this to be would be 641 times the 11,065 contracts, what would have been about $7 million. So much less than the 215 million that we have found out was actually being put on the table. So a big difference here. And so that is why it's very important to actually look at the data and not just use scanners to get very superficial data analysis, which is why many people do not trade unusual option activity very accurately. And so that is why we were able to do so to make consistent profits and beat the market. So if you want more of these trade ideas with stronger data so that we can increase our probability of profit, then make sure to go to our website. We'll put a link at the top here. And make sure to watch our last Apple video. May 7th, when we published it, was right over here. And we'll put a link to that video over here where you can find out in hindsight how we were able to analyze this data to make more than 200% profit on that trade so far. As usual, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, take care, and have a wonderful day.